<laughs> what? Yo, what is going on guys? In today's video, I'm going to show you how I make my strife fully automatic. Now, as far as I know, there's really no way to mod on the PS4 yet, and I'm sure if you did, they would just like instantly console ban you. And it's not a glitch or it's not anything that has to do with the game. What I use is called a Strike Pack Dominator, and they're like 35 bucks on Amazon, and it's just the sickest 35 bucks you can ever spend. It's basically as it sounds, it's a pack that attaches to the back of your PS4 controller. And not only does it give you two paddles like a scuff to where you can use one for your jump and your slide, but it also gives you a whole host of these mods that you can use. And I don't really use any of the mods except for the rapid fire mod. I might try to figure out how to do the hair triggers. So like when I pull it, it's like when I pull the R2 button, it's like pulling the R1 button, you know, it just kind of insta, insta fires, no big, no big deal. And I don't, I'm not big into like the whole jitter fire and the no recoil mods. I'm not even sure if any of those work on Black Ops 4 right now, but I can tell you the rapid fire one works awesome. You can see in this gameplay here, kind of carrying my, <laughs> kind of carrying my teammates, got the whole team on my back. But, uh. I do pretty pretty damn good with this thing, and that's saying something considering it's only a pistol. <laughs> I'm better with this Strife pistol than I am at talking on the mic, but we'll get there. But as far as I know, what this mod does is it doesn't make the gun shoot faster than you're capable. Because I'm pretty sure that these newer Call of Duties have a cap on like how fast you can pull the trigger, you know. Like, Enemies are contesting a. There's, a, there's a limit to how fast it actually fires. So if you really want to like tweak out and smash the hell out of your shoot button, I think you could probably get the same fire rate. But this just makes it way easier. All you gotta do is hold down the trigger and you get that maximum fire rate. So it's like you're shooting this thing at max all the time. And a lot of people will say this is cheating and blah blah blah, but this isn't no TAC-45 from Black Ops 2. Like, this, you can outgun this pistol with basically anything. This thing's a little pea shooter, but what it lacks in power makes up for with mobility. You can just jump and strafe, and one thing that I like to do is run Perk 2 Gluttony. <laughs> that makes this class, or any like SMG shotgun class, it makes it really overpowered, but the only problem is you'll end up running out of ammo with this gun and usually SMGs and shotties. So, it's not as viable, but boy is it fun. If you have gung-ho, so you can draw up instantly, and fire, and lightweight, and dexterity, and you just you just slide and climb and jump and hop, man, it, <laughs> people cannot hit you. Now, that's not what I'm doing in this gameplay, but boy is it fun. <laughs> Enemy sentry active. But yeah, that's that's basically what the strike pack does. Is there's a lot that you can do with it. I'll uh, I'll go ahead and maybe record a clip and I'll show it here of what it looks like on the controller. It is it attaches to it. The only downside, I guess, is that it has to be wired, but it's not really a big deal. So after uh, after this clip shows here, we'll go ahead and go back to gameplay and we'll finish out the video. Okay, guys. So this is what the strike pack looks on the back of the controller. You have your mapping buttons. And then your paddles. These are the, uh, I actually have the different paddles. These are, they're alternate paddles. They're a little bit easier to reach because my f fingers are freaking tiny. <laughs> Not that you can tell from the camera, but yeah, that's what I use there. And the only downside to it is that it has to, it has to be plugged in. And it covers up your headphone port. That's not really an issue because it has its own. That's basically how it attaches right there. Just pop that off, you pop it out of the back here, and there it is. Best $35 you'll ever spend. <laughs> and there you have it, that's the Strike Pack Dominator. Like I said, it's got mods on it, like Jitter Fire, no recoil, and I'm not going to show
sure how all that works. I just like to turn it on and use the uh, the basic rapid fire setting to turn no some semi-auto weapons Fight into fully auto. I honestly don't like it on the DMR and the swordfish and stuff, but like for the pistol it works and that's really about all I use it on. And the SG-12. <laughs> So yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this short little video here. <laughs> I'm still not amazing at talking on the mic yet, but I promise I'm going to get there. So if you guys enjoyed, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. It would mean the world to me. And I will see you guys in the next one. Way out in place. Firing sensor dart. Losing Bravo. Ah. Testing Bravo. We're losing B. We're defending B. Ah. We're contesting B. Destructor going out. We're losing B. We're defending B. Capturing B. Hostile RCXD spotted. <coughs> We're defending B. Bringing disruptor online. Enemy has Bravo. We're low on lives. Exercise caution. Running ice pick. Losing Alpha. <laughs> 